Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. We're going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage, season 15 of. Puff up, please. Puff up, puff up, please. It's all about puffers. It's all about down comforters, puffy things, poofy and puffalicious. A puffer is something that's very voluminous. It's something that people use for cold weather. It could be a comforter. It could be a huge coat. You are a puffer, though. I'm a total puffer. I, I don't puff at all, baby. Do you think they're going to go in that direction? They should. They should, right? That would be kind I'll of play pop. on words. Catch an all-new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15, Fridays on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. I'm feeling like Montclair fashion, you know, like very ski. Very that, but then take it somewhere else. Let's see. Let's see. Category is Puffa Please. First up to the stage, we bring Lucy Laduca. Mmm. I'm into it. I like that it has a little bit of a theme to it. It's referential. Stay puff marshmallow man. Is it like my sense or taste in fashion? Absolutely not, but I think she looks cute. I love this hair actually. I like that it's a hard front. I like the puffer jacket a lot actually. I do love the puffer. It's literally just a puffer mm -hmm. trench. Mm -hmm. It's like nothing done in a way that's like, oh, okay, it's cute, kitsch. Oh, yay, you're Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. But it's like, mm. the thing under it comes off as costume from a bag. Mm -hmm. It looks like she pulled it out of a bag and it's like, Puffy Marshmallow Man. Mm -hmm. I like that the vinyl belt matches the little vinyl tie mm -hmm. on that. I like the coat, but I don't like what she's wearing under it. And I wish the hair were a different color. Like if you're gonna go Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, why isn't the hair white? Yeah. If it were white, it would actually take me to that a little bit more. I give this a two. I give it a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Spice. The boots are kind of cool. I like the boots. That is, and it would be cool if it were with something like unexpected. But then you go up and it's a matching well, I think that's dress. what we saw first right away. We're like, the boot is the most interesting part of it. It's too easy on the eyes. There's no challenge to this. I don't look at this and go, oh, wow. Look what they've yeah. done with a concept. It's a leg warmer. With a matching dress, it looks like it came out of a bag for a costume for like mm -hmm. a kitty cat. The most exciting thing about this outfit is that 30 inch wig that she's wearing, that human hair. Stunning, stunning wig. But then otherwise everything else is just sort of like, it's very out of the bag and predictable for me. Okay, here's what I would do to change it. I put a big funky belt around it. Mm -hmm. I would add a few pleats in that so the skirt maybe stuck out to right. the side. Right. Maybe put some shoulder pads in there. Mm -hmm. Take the fur off. She could have added more puff to the sleeve, to the, yeah. to the shoulder, puff at the top of the boot. She holds true to her aesthetic. Y2K, I'm cute, everything's small and barely covering up what needs to be covered up, but it's like. Boot. It's a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Sasha Colby. Living. What did I say about the legs? Like yeah. put the full down fantasy on the legs. This is brilliant. The black and yellow gives me bumblebee. And it's a puffer on top of puffer. puffer. It's a vest it's a with a jacket. Oh my God, look at the puffer vest and the puffer jacket are, ta oh, it's brilliant. It's fashion, it's actual fashion. Look how cool the jacket is though. Let's just talk about that. How she takes off the jacket and then there's like a vest and then the jacket is attached to it and it adds this whole Waspy shell. type of yes, uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. And then the vest comes off and it's still on her body. And then she's got garter belts on puffer thigh height. Yeah, this is beyond. Love the hair. And I love, love the, the hair. hair. The hair is unbelievable. It's really fun. It's gravity defying. And like, she's also got a puffer mini skirt. So cute. You know, if you're gonna bear it all and be naked, stick within the theme. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Chef's kiss. 
This is an absolute toot for me. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage Lux Noir London. She's like, okay, I'm a thin girl and I'm gonna show off skinny. You're gonna you make know. me put a puffer over this body, bitch? Uh -huh. no, it's no, on no, my no. hips, it's at the top of the thing right here, it's around the edge of the collar, it's on the top of the glove, it's on the top of the boots that continues as a garter belt. Looks like she has those twisty balloon animals, but like all just kind of wound up around her, and mm. therefore it's pretty brilliant to me. And the balloon, top on the knot, like I love that. That's so cute. Shiny bubblegum pink is a happy color for me. It's giving mod, it's giving a touch of Barbarella, early 90s, Matthew and Zaldi club kid feels. Yeah. It's a little bit Lady Miss Cure. It's got some Mugler to it. Bob Mackie. It's very Bob Mackie. It's very, this is Judy Jetson's friend. What I love also, that simple bob. Oh yes, bitch. You know, it's not sculpty. It doesn't have rhinestones in it. It's just a tight, whooshink, whooshink, whoosh, whoosh, That's my shit. <laughs> love it. Toot. Absolute toot. Next we bring to the stage, Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. It's very referential. It gives me Richard Quinn. It's very fashion. I love that everything is in the same fabric. The pants, the dress, the coat. The coordination. Then it's lined with that beautiful yellow. Mm -hmm. Then she's carrying a juice box mm. as a purse. And then the hair. Also unexpected because you think of something like a puffer as being something so wintry. Instead, she's gone with something that feels very spring summery. The hair is mm brilliant. I love the contrast of something like that is seemingly heavy like a puffer with something so lightweight and flouncy. I just love it. I think that she looks fantastic. I feel like she's actually in drag and if I paid money to go watch a performance and she was there I'd be like money well spent. She is lemon bar, lemon drop. She is just citrusy deliciousness. I feel the sugariness and all of this and I am feeling it. The sweet and the sour. And I love just that simple little pump. Two. Next, we bring to the stage Aura Mayari. That fabric is beautiful. It really is. I love that it is again, mm -hmm. like we were speaking, unexpected. The fabric is really what makes it super interesting. It's like that iridescent ox blood on black. And it's very like, it's like a beetle. It looks velvety, but then you get closer and it's actually tiny mm -hmm. little scales. Yeah, this is beautiful. I wish the Obi were a little thinner. I almost prefer the OB not there at all. The most interesting part of an OB is not the front of the OB. It's the beautiful folding in the back mm. that creates this giant bustle, and I wish that was there. Instead, it kind of makes her midsection look a little bit more column-like because there's so much cushion. It gives me too thick of a center, but what the hell am I talking about? I think she looks beautiful. I love this piece. And then maybe a little bit more ornamentation in the hair. Yeah. There's so much beautiful structure and sculpture in the hair to kind of go with the Asian, Japanese theme of this. Throw in some beautiful lanterns, or I don't know, a fan, a, a, a puffer, puffer fan, fan, something. This kimono coat is really interesting and it is something that I would like to wear. There better not be another bitch in a kimono. <laughs> There's another kimono! You never know. I give it a two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage, Jax. Wow, so another B. I love that. I love the structure of it. If anyone out there knows anything about sewing, this is actually a really interesting piece because- But look at the fabric itself. Yeah, and the fabric is interesting. It's a bandana, paisley yeah. print. But I love the boots. Mm. The only thing I don't like about this is the hair. Mm. I feel she wears hair sometimes, it's a little too small. That's the second hairstyle that kind of looks like that. Sculpt in the front, hang in the back. Yeah. It's a sculpt mullet. Sculpt yeah, the girl mullet. before her had the same thing. She was like, cut a cow. Me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a toot. It's a toot. Next, we bring to the stage Mistress Isabel Brooks. Puffer chap, puffer panty, puffer coat, puffer bra, puffer bucket. And then in those two colors. I am gonna say this. No. It is very, very, very unexpected. Listen, the only thing that has to go is the puffer panty. It's giving me diaper. It's like pooped in diaper. Look at the back of that. That's a baby that ate a burrito. I kind of don't like the hat either. No, get out of here with the bucket hat. Please get rid of that. 
I love the but chaps, the I love the go. bra, and I love the jacket. But get rid of the diaper and the bucket. Out of here with that. Throw the diaper in the bucket. Put the diaper in the bucket and flush it down the toilet. Conceptually, I get where the idea is and I love the color combination of it. Yeah. And I like that she said, um, I need me a, a little band that says mistress around it. Okay. I give it a two. I still give it a two. <laughs> Next, we bring to the stage Anitra. I actually really love the jacket. The jacket is so mm -hmm. intricately done, the quilting on it. You see it at the very end when she turned around and yeah. you don't get to see the beautiful detail of it. But that jacket is really super interesting. She did say that she is a state bird of Las Vegas, Nevada, which is the hooker. So the fur lining makes sense, but that sounds really hot and uncomfortable. And mm. I can't see myself wearing fur lining anything. In um, Vegas. In Vegas. Well, Vegas is freezing too in the, mm. in the winter. Beach. The color combo is great. I love it. I love the textures. I love that. Again, the quilting on the jacket is so brilliant. It's I, I just can't I love the, the coat. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if she just wore the coat. I don't really care for what she has on under it. It's not bad. It's not making or breaking it. It's better than just a little A-line dress with chintzy pieces of fur. It's a two. It's like it's a two. two. Mm-hmm. Next, we bring to the stage Marsha. Marsha, Marsha. I know she's trying to give frostbite but really she's giving me bed bugs. Look at that. It looks like a comforter and a bunch of bugs got to her. I don't understand this look. Puffer, diaper, panties, no more, please. This looks like slutty hazmat outfit. Oh. You know, which has its appeal. I often go to slutty hazmat as a reference, but no, I don't I don't see this. No, no, no. Yeah, and that boot, it doesn't scream puffer. It screams two 13 gallon trash bags that she pulled over her leg and stuck rubber bands around it. It looks like the bare minimum. She found puffer fabric and said, make me a bathing suit. I have this jacket that I got at Burlington. And I'm just gonna say, oh, this is my puffer bitch. No. I'm an Ariana Grande fan just as much as everyone, but is she an iconic reference as far as fashion constant? No. And it looks great on Ariana Grande because she is Ariana Grande. But when you're trying to translate it as a queen, it doesn't always work. As I'm looking at this further, I'm looking at the, the sacks around her leg. Why didn't she look at it before she walked out and go, oh, one of these is scrunched up a little too high. Little details like that are things that could make or break a look. And I really want her to put on a bigger lash. It's always like clean white with like a touch of something wrong with it. No, it's a boot. It's okay. a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Selena Estiris. This is cute. It's different. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I like that it is a completely different take on what we've seen. Yes, it is a puffy coat, but it's been tailored. It's more conducive to drag, where mm -hmm. you, you look at it and go, oh, okay, there's some shape. I also love that it's clear, mm -hmm. and then that all of that batting is put in there with all of her <laughs> But I like the dress. Yes, I think it's clever. I think it's cute. I think it's kitschy. I think it's camp. I like that she's puffy down there. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's done well. Assignment understood. Do I think it's spectacular? No. no but it works for me. I like yeah. it. And I think I think it's cute. So it's a two. Yeah, two. Trend alert! Bumblebees. Bumblebees. Ow! I stung thee. Give me that honeybee. Yes, hornet. Mm. Oh, I'm feeling hornet. hornet. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling so hornet. Our, Our top two of the week is... Sasha, Sasha Colby. Colby. I mean, another week, another sleigh. Look at it. You owned it. It was a jacket. It was a vest. It was a swimsuit. It was thigh highs. It was garter belts. It was a miniskirt. It was everything. Papa, please. Bye. Bye. Get out of here. Buzz on out, Bumblebee. <laughs>